Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 510. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. I'm surprised that I've done three episodes for this month. Let's just say news has been popping off. So anywho, let's hop right into it. So first up is My Little Pony Main Merge Gets an Update, version 1.1.0. Right, right, right. So what's in this one? Uh, the main merge My Little Pony game for Apple Arcade has released a big new update. There are new chapters to the in-game story, new mini games, and lots of stickers and other things to collect. They are, sorry, they they also hint at future future chapters to be released and uploaded a bunch of un. <coughs> Use model of characters like Queen, Haven, uh, Jazz, Jazz Hoof, and Misty. Uh, see the screen cap up, uh, screen cap up there for an upcoming chapter with Misty and Sparky. All right. <clears throat> uh, hit the hit on. Down below for the full patch notes uh, if you are curious or just go download it on either Apple's on either Apple store. Huh, right. <clears throat> anyway, let's let's read up what uh, is in the game, what's new with the game. Okay, new chapter. The main five has an idea of how to help all uh, jittery creature creatures, but there uh, but they'll need help from every pony. Chapter 9, Princess Pip Pet uh, Pip is taking one of oh sorry, one for the team and needs some uh Pegasus <laughs> Peg assistance uh rummaging around the Zephyr Heights cliff. Chapter ten. Uh, let you spar uh, let you sparkle shine let your sparkle shine with easy moonbow at Maritime Base Beach and restore fate to the local beachgoers. Chapter 11 Detective Zip Storm is on the case to save Equestria, but Opaline's dark magic is in the way. Uh, Hungry Critters The adventure continues. Oh, sorry, yeah. the adventure continues. Never stop <coughs> merging in the new. Hungry cre Critters Endless Mode. Uh, this is for all the show ponies to unlock either the complete completion uh, after the completion of chapter 11. Uh, feed digital creatures of Equestria by merging to your heart's content. Uh, unlock three new stickers for your sticker book. <coughs> Hitch. Pitch Critters Herding. A uh, new mini game is waiting for you at the Crystal Bright House. Go galloping with Hitch Trailblazer and reach as many and rescue as many cre critters as possible. Uh, look out for obstacles that could cause Hitch herds to stumble. Make it to the finish line to reveal your Bright House magic. Even more hooves and blah blah blah. You you get the general idea. <clears throat> so, um, this is interesting for me because, well, uh, some of you may know I am an Apple user uh, since day from the very 3GS. Uh, no, 3GS. Yeah, 3GS, yes. That's what the old phone was called. Um, and been using that for a while now. So, yeah, that's my history of Apple. Anywho, um, looking at this, the game opening the wiki, um, from what I gathered here, is just that, um, let's see, the game is a combination of the, ty of the tile matching and basic single player mini game genre, switching between the two of them often. So yeah, um, basically you do a bunch of mini games. Uh, it, I'm not 100% sure if this 
articles updated I wonder how you can tell if this is updated or not <coughs> but um, from what I understand uh, they were two games now they added a new one because uh, a new mini game is waiting for you blah, blah. so basically there's three or there's three new mini games and you do stuff hungry critters adds one more uh, sorry three one more uh, adds more levels I think <laughs> so um back on to my point with Apple I, I I don't have Apple Arcade because I don't really play games on my phone the only game I play on my phone is a match game where I just spend time doing crap and just finish doing whatever because if I'm outside waiting for something I'll pop it up and just play um, this feels like it really needs my attention time and whatnot <coughs> and I do like sorry I do find it fascinating where the game is technically not pay to win but it's holding your attention via updates or story updates <coughs> and since it's a Apple subscription and you need to pay what was it five bucks twenty bucks a month for that to continue on with the subscription and it, it's kind of I, I guess making you wait and subscribe for more to see what's new coming out granted that yes uh, whatever is in Apple uh, whatever is in the Apple Arcade you can play so that's the bonus there but in all honesty if you are a person who plays the Xbox the PlayStation or the Nintendo you don't really have time to play this even if you're outside you won't be really focusing on the story if you're to play this like for me personally I feel like when you play a story based game it's something where you want to sit down and relax and kind of have a good time so yeah this is interesting and we get to see a bit of uh, Misty um, I got no idea I haven't catch up with G5 in a very long time so my knowledge of G5 is uh, nothing <clears throat> so anyway let's move on to the next news Netflix My Little Pony tell your tale listing now up release set for March 27th with 20 episodes today is the 18th that I'm recording on so that is like nine days I guess is it <laughs> anyway now <yeah>, um <clears throat> So anyway, I'm not going to read what Seth wrote down here because it's self-explanatory because um, I reported this a while back saying that hey, um, some new Pony episode will pop up on Netflix and I talk about oh, this is going to be easy to watch because of how the playlist section of the YouTube is a bit convoluted and kind of hard to parse through because well... Um, <coughs> The episodes are interspliced with music, blah, 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 blah. So, uh, I, I've, I've talked about that for a while now. I think, what, two or three episodes ago. So, um, if you want to hear my thoughts, go check it out there. So, with this one, everything's going to be nicely sorted in Netflix uh, by episode numbers. So, yay, that's good. Um, what I'm a bit with this, um, with this is that uh, it's only 20 episodes. Uh, Oh boy, I should have done research more on this one. But um, if you take a look, see at uh, what you call this, um, the ponies episodes on the YouTube's, they're up to forty-seven right now. So, uh, maybe you know, I don't know why they couldn't just bump it up to match um, YouTube, but it could be that uh, YouTube has or Hasbro has exclusive rights to upload it there first, wait three months, then up to Netflix. I'm thinking that probably. <coughs> so yeah, um, this is this is fun, this is fun. Last one on the new, uh, last news for the week is new line of tsunamis. I think that's how you say it. 
G4 My Little Pony keychain appear at Hot Topic. Wow. For you retro bronies out there who remember the old days of Hot Topic, this is... This is pulling me back in, man. <clears throat> and if you're pondering why am I put, why am I, <laughs> why am I even putting this up here? It's because it's nostalgia, nostalgia bait, you know. So anyway, um, let's read what Seth have to say. Licensed G Four merch is apparently not over at Hot Topic. A new line of keychains called Tsunamis has appeared with a whole. Assortment of ponies, one fr sorry, from one time background to the main six, Princess and even Sunset Shimmer Ponyfy. The full line is apparently arriving in stores now. So if you want, you will have to venture into the local mall if it's still open in 2023 or any of those hot topic locations links down below so you're probably wondering hey norman why are you even having wh why do you even know hot topic besides of its uh, pop culture reference and whatnot and how do you know of the hot top sorry, do you even bought stuff from hot topic before the answer is yes pop culture reference and in the internet and the second yes i did and Oof, that, those, those are, those are ye olden day stuff. Um, so let's finish this one first. So uh, these are kind of interesting keychains with um, some kind of liquid inside, and the ponies are floating in them. Uh, that's cool. Oh, Celestia, that, that's nice. Um, they didn't say how much it is, so. I guess we kind of need to check the... No, I guess it should be more than 5 bucks. Uh, let's see if there's we can get the full picture or something here. Uh, not really, not really. Uh, we got Spike, uh, Tempest, Celestia. Is that Trixie? Or is that Luna? I'm not sure who this is. We got AJ, so that's cool. So yeah, we, we got a full assortment of ponies. So yay, that's awesome. With flat oh yeah, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, the main six plus spike is there, including sunset. Yay. Um <clears throat> no, um wrong tab, close. Yeah, there we go. Uh so yes, this is good. This is this is uh, Kichi, <laughs> and it's you know nostalgia for me. Plus, G four merch hasn't been out that much. I guess this is kind of nostalgic for me. And if you're wondering, if you're probably wondering what merch I bought from Hot Topic that is pony related, well, I have to say that uh, way back when uh, there was a line from. Funko. Uh, they're not the Funko Pops, but they're the Funko Vinyls. And those are pretty impressive. I... Give me a second. I think I, I think I have something. All right. So back in the days, um, Hot Topic and Funko released something called the uh, My Little Pony Vinyl Collections. Uh, they don't really mention Funko anywhere on the front, but this is what it looks like. I wonder if I can zoom in. No, I don't think I can zoom in closer without. Yeah, you you can just imagine this. So, uh, this is one of those toys or collectibles that I got on uh, on their what you call this uh, from them um, you can even uh, 
do I have any new Funko Shrike here? I don't think so. So you can even see the Funko logo being all different or retro, I, I, I don't know. So yeah, um, these are the vinyls and sorry. Uh, so they're kind of cool, like um, I remember them releasing with, at first it was derpy um, or muffins or even derpy hooves. Pick your, pick favorites, I don't know. Uh, and she was, I feel, personally, I feel like she was the testing ground, testing bed for um, Funko to see if they are popular enough or people will buy them. Surprisingly sold out and they just keep turning out more. Uh, they, then they release sets of twos. Uh, you get something like um, Twilight and Trixie uh, and then you'll get Rainbow Dash and somebody blah 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 and then you'll just get release after release after release and <clears throat> um, I collected most of them uh, I the last one that I bought was Spike um, Spike was I don't see Spike here. I think I'm having him. Yeah, um, the last one I got was Spike. And he was not, probably around this size, probably bigger box. I, I don't remember. So um, the thing is, um, I kind of lost the luster to collect them because of one thing. Um, w the way that we over here um, collected them was... Well, when the time when Luna came about, um, we did a merge buy or a collect collecting collecting buy something like that, where um, we collect a lot of orders in, uh, we collect cash and we send it out. We 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 order it from the states, move it to a what you call this uh, detour or something, and then back to me over here in Malaysia. So we did that. And uh, one of the few things that kind of sucks was they didn't have enough Luna. And me being naive, thinking that, oh, maybe I'll get the second drop and whatnot. They, I, I just say, okay, never mind. I, I'll let go of my Luna and let somebody else have Luna. Because I already uh, picked Celestia. I, I bought Celestia and Luna, but I didn't get, so, uh, sorry, I didn't get Luna. So I just got Celestia and got some money back and hoped for a, another reprint. That didn't happen and as time goes on, I lost the luster. And because of that, I stopped collecting because they came out more. They, they were mod, they were cheese, uh, they were granny if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, they, they kept on going on to a point. But I, I just lost the motivation to collect because no Luna. And here's the thing. Luna, right now on the open market, at average, if I'm not mistaken, is about $500. And oy, $500. $500 could buy me a lot of stuff. That's, that's to be sure. But let's just say that Five hundred dollars is a lot of money, and to buy it at sorry to buy sorry to spend five hundred dollars on collectibles is a bit how how do I put this irresponsible. It's better that I use that money to pay bills, uh, f food, groceries, and whatnot. And remember, uh, the exchange rate for uh, Malaysia to the American dollars is about. 4.1, 4.4, 4 4.5 4 probably. So you just imagine a hundred dollars could get me about four hundred and five, four, four hundred and no, it's a. Uh, you know what? I have a phone with a con, yep, uh, with a currency converter. I would just do that because. That is much accurate and faster. So, 
um, uh, $500. Boy, um, oh wow, uh, the conversion rate is 4.48. Let, let's just round it up to 4.5. So anyway, um, the amount that I will have if $500 was converted to Malaysia Ringgit would be 2,243 Ringgit. And that is a lot of money. That that can uh, hold. That that could. How do I put it? That that could uh, make you survive for the month or two, depending on how frugal you are. And yeah, that is a lot of money. Technically, the same amount as a PS Five. Hmm. Anywho, um. <sighs> Yeah, hot topic, man. Like, I'm, I'm just surprised as you are that it came out. So let's move on to the big cam. Yay! So uh, moving on to the next topic, and next topic is what have I been doing with my week? So, uh, in all honesty, uh, there's a few things. Magic and D and D. That's there. Uh, played a bit of uh, play, play the. Uh, Zangief deck and that's from Zangief from the Street Fighter series uh, built a deck around that had a lot of fun now I'm off building another deck I'm in the process right now of building a Chun-Li deck um, and it, her, here she ooh, yep, yep, oh no here she is I guess yeah, yeah. so there, there she is I'm, I'm building her right now trying to figure out a way to Trying to figure out a way how to make her work with me, you know. Uh, besides that, D and D adventures popping off. Um, if you're interested in watching that chaos, uh, episodes are on my personal YouTube channel um, at Norman Sanzo. And besides that, I watched a movie recently, and said movie was not the one I was talking about. That didn't pan out. So the one I was watching was Shazam Fury of the Gods something like that so the Shazam number two th that's the movie that I watch it was entertaining it was fun there were some funny scenes and it was it was entertaining I, I, I wasn't really expecting much you know and my logic of thinking was that it's DC <laughs> and with the current news of how DC is going forward with its content, it feels like this is going to be a Elseworld story where um, the what you call this the stakes are there, but they're not really high. There's no um, what you call this merger of universe where oh the uh, where where we have um, Batman and Superman, Wonder Woman might come in to Shazam or even the Black Adam Shazam sorry, the Black Adam uh, would come into this one and do stuff together but we all know that um, person who is in charge now kind of said that they're all elsewhere like they're all in their own space they're all in their own world and it's not related to what's going on because the, the idea is that, hey, uh, we got a successful Batman show with that Twilight guy. So put him in his own universe. Like, he, he has his own thing. Uh, we had get a successful Joker movie. Okay, he's there on his own. Uh, nothing to do with whatever's going connected to the universe. Uh, if there's a Batman in that universe, it's just that universe is Batman, whatever it is. So, going into it, knowing this, makes the enjoyment of the movie or the knowledge of certain characters or certain scenes or just the stakes not really that high feels like okay this is just a popcorn action flick brain turned down a bit no high expectations and whatnot so watching the movie was gladly entertained one of the few things that i did notice was that the, em the theater was empty. I was the only guy there, and except for my friend who was sitting next beside me. But that's this. That's you know. so. I was like, hmm. So wait, 
I'm the only one here. Mm. <laughs> uh, that was that was an experience. Let me tell you that. Um, so yeah, uh, that was an experience. That was interesting. So yeah. Um, other than that, uh, what else? What else? Nothing much really. Um, didn't play any new games. I I played a bit of the RE4 remake demo. That was fun, but I have a feeling that it's telling me that my graphics card can't handle the game. Might need to get a new one, which I don't really want to upgrade because upgrading a graphic card means I need, I may need to upgrade my processor. And by doing that, I <coughs> money. Yes, that's that's the problem. Money. <laughs> so, um, as for now, I'm just gonna make do with what I have. Uh, gaming is not my top priority right now because time. <sighs> being an adult is not hard. Sorry, being an adult is not easy. Yes. <laughs> Ah, we get all so hard. Ah, that, that is funny. But anywho, let's wrap things up. So, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmbshowgmail.com. Uh, if you, you can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Uh, also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also, Stitcher Radio. Uh, and also like our Facebook page, you can also catch us on ponyoflife.com. I do wonder if that's updated or not. Hmm. It's been a while. So anyway, um, if you would like uh, to listen to some other banters, uh, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. And also, now if you're following the YouTube, you'll be automatically following that too. Yay. Uh, so anyway, uh, over there, you can catch me, Silver Quill. Uh, Tara and Jacob review the pony episodes, comics, specials, movies, and probably video games. Not so much. I think I'm the only guy playing. <coughs> and sometimes we like to do other things other than ponies. Those can be cartoons, animes, mangas, comics, uh, games, or even movies. So yeah, catch uh, catch all that hilarious insanity there. Um, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash mbs show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Uh, talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Jacob. Like in, uh, oh, that's not right. No, 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 it's because of, uh, eh, give me a second. Uh, oh no, how, how do this? My brain... Yeah, that, that, I think that's right. <laughs> uh, let, let me take it from that top. So, I'd like to thank Jacob, Lucky Knight, myself, Leg, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So, anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode on the show. See ya.